Good morning everybody and welcome to a very sunny Tullus Turf talk this week. I hope you're all keeping really, really well. So fabulous to see the big yellow ball up in the sky, lovely blue skies as well behind me, fabulous morning, big harvest going on and we're going to be heading out into the field, not to look at the harvest this week, but you may remember a few weeks ago we had some new trailers delivered. Now we did a vlog on this which very quickly became our most viewed vlog so far, I think it's had close on 3,000 views now. So if you haven't watched it, please take a look back, I think it's maybe three, four, five weeks ago and it takes a closer look at the trailers in a bit more detail uh, by the person that made them and also by Alan, our farm manager who had the foresight to design them and they're right behind me so what I'm doing at the moment, I'm just waiting for Steve to come down he's going to be hooking up and taking these out to the field, we're going to be following him uh, he's unloading some pallets at the moment but before he gets here we'll just have a quick walk over to the trailers and we bought two of them and sandwiched right between here is one of our old ones that we replaced. So it's typical old sort of flatbed, sort of very dated now. Now the new trailers have really brought us into the 21st century. They meet all the roadway regulations, loading regulations, and are incredibly practical. We're really, really pleased with them. So I've not really seen that in action very much, so I'm looking forward to getting out there too. So we'll wait for Steve and we'll head off out to the field. We've reached the harvest field and the harvest starts sort of well before Steve sort of heads out here just to make sure they've got a few pallets ready for him to load. Now we've bought these trailers really to help get turf out of the field and we will have a quick look around the trail in a moment, explain one or two of the features that are going to help us do that. Now normally in the summer months we can bring lorries into fields, things like that, but because we've had a particularly wet winter, some of the soil is quite sensitive. So what we do is we load the trailer, we take it out of the field to the holding area and the collections and the loading is done in those particular sites. So it's a fabulous piece of kit and complements our JCB load all perfectly. Uh, we did a vlog on that a while back too if you want to have a look at that. So overall great setup, very reliable, durable, robust, doing exactly what we want it to do. Just while we wait for Steve to load the next few pallets onto it, we'll have a look at a, a few of the key features. So we'll start right at the back of the trailer. And we've got a fantastically strong hydraulic system up here for lifting the sides. Uh, we saw the sides come up a little while ago, and this allows Steve obviously to present the pallets straight on. Now on the bed itself, you'll notice all the reinforcement on the far side that there helps retain the pallets, retain the rolls and stop anything falling off and uh, onto the road or anywhere else. So that's brilliant. Uh, also you might be able to just spot them in the top there, LED lighting. So in the darker mornings in the winter and the darker evenings when we're loading, we've got good LED lighting there, so great vision uh, for the person that's loading, which is absolutely fabulous. Then as we go along, we look at the tyres, got big broad tyres on here. Uh, the six on the trailer overall, so this is spreading the weight fantastically. And if the ground during the winter time is a little bit softer, it's not going to have any problems at all. It's not going to sink in, create any rutting or any problems with getting stuck. 
Then if you come to the front, we've got nice visible decals everywhere, really well visible from the cab. Really neat, tidy hydraulic system, I have to say. And overall, it's just a fabulous design. A real credit to Alan for his foresight once again, and to Richard Lounge and Trailers who fabricated them for us. So overall, brilliant. We'll watch Steve load some more pallets. Many, many things I like about this trailer, not just the overall design and the functionality of it, but also things like little features like this. So on the bed, you notice we've got this lip, and that means that once the pallets are loaded, they can't slide anywhere. If this slid at all, it's just going to hit the lip and not go any further. But also the unique design of the side canopy means that when it drops down, it also drops downwards. So it locks in position, so if anything did slide in there, it can't possibly push the sides out. So that keeps it ultra, ultra safe and ultra ultra good. So this one holds 12 pallets in total so we're well within weight restrictions even during the wetter months when pallets may weigh a bit more it's keeping us well within regulations within the law so that's fantastic. But what I like as above anything else is the fact that we're able to protect the pallets so on a hot sunny morning like this we can harvest them fresh they go straight on here they're straight out of the sunlight when they're in transition the sides will be down so it's keeping any warm wind off it again drying it out, so this can be straight to the holding pad, unloaded into the shade and kept as fresh as possible. So it's also preserving the turf for a lot, lot longer too. So fabulous stuff, we'll go a bit further. So as the door comes down on another week's Turf Talk, I just want to thank you all as always for watching. We really do appreciate all your views, all your comments. It really means a lot to us. We love making the videos and hopefully it's given you an insight into the world of turf production and also a few little tips and pointers along the way on how to look after the turf once you receive it. So hopefully we're giving everybody a broad range of topics, a broad range of interest, a broad range of subjects. So anything you'd like us to cover then obviously let us know and we'll do our best to accommodate that. So in the meantime, if you like the video, please like it. Uh, please share with all your friends, help us grow the channel. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, it doesn't cost anything on Tillis Turf TV on YouTube and you'll be alert to our weekly vlogs. So it helps us grow, I think we're on about 700 subscribers at the moment. So it'd be fantastic to hit the thousand mark. That would really, really mean a lot. So any help in growing the channel would be absolutely massively appreciated thank you very much but in the meantime as always have a fabulous weekend if you're laid in your turf recently keep an eye on that moisture we've had a little bit of rain but in these sunny conditions today that's soon going to dry up so keep an eye on that but we'll catch you next week take care everybody cheers for now